this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that gives you full games of all the tips and schemes that post my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an up upload. Alright, so guys, I want to go ahead and break down a setup of defense that I've, been, that I've been recently running online. I jumped away from this defense, but I'm going to try to do a little bit more draft champions on my channel. Uh, so I need to settle into a defense that I think feel that I'm going to be a little bit more successful online. Uh, so it's repetitive. Uh, re repetitive um, and it repeatable in a sense that I actually have a, a defensive setup and um, I've labbed this over a few different games and I find it highly effective difficult to go ahead and move the ball against it's very effective against the run um, and it is it, it's it, it really dictates how your opponent plays offense and anytime you, you're dictating how your opponent plays offense you're gonna win more games and be more effective now it is out the 34 odd defense. It's one of the more popular defenses, but it's a little bit different of a setup than maybe you use online. Maybe you use this online, but I want to show you how I've set this defense up so I get very effective pressure whenever I want to and how I'm going to go ahead and, and, and do this. So first and foremost, I want to go and change my audibles. Uh, one of the, the base audibles is going to be a very popular blitz, which is going to be the pinch buck O. I don't want that particular bit blitz I want to switch out. Another uh, one of the, the base audibles is the cover three sky. I want to switch that out with the cross three fire. Uh, so uh, we're going to go ahead and switch out the pinch buck O with the pinch mic O. Uh, and then we're going to switch out the, uh, uh, the uh, sky defense with the cross three fire. Okay. So let's just go ahead and just do, do those quick adjustments. And sky, we're going to go ahead and try to find crossfire. So these are going to be uh, basically the, the, the audibles that we're going to use. We're going to use the cover two man. We're going to use the pinch mic O, the Tampa two, and then the cross three fire. Um, and why it's important is that you, you want to have basically a shell that you can jump into to get your opponent off guard. Now, out of the huddle, once again, cover four, drop, show two. It's very important that you actually come out of this in the huddle because this is going to provide coverage for you that you can go and sprinkle in a blitz. Now, I'm going to show you the setup of a universal blitz. You're going to be sending seven, using one of the one of the seven, which is going to give you six defenders, so you have five in coverage. But this blitz setup might be a little bit more effective than what you've seen online. So let's just go ahead and show. I'm going to show this to you, and I'm going to run this against random plays. All right. So basically, the the blitz is a felony. We're going to go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and base a line. I'm going to take my def uh, my defensive li line. I'm actually going to spread them out. So I'm going to hit the left uh, uh, D pad and spread out. I'm going to go ahead take my linebackers and pinch them in and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and blitz all and then I'm going to go ahead and take our uh, offensive line and we're going to go ahead and slant them out and then we're going to go ahead and put this guy into some kind of play and press now as long as you don't do you can pretty much set this up any any way that you want to you can press first and then go ahead and base a line and then you can go ahead and uh, set this blitz up but you got to go through those, those those first couple steps and then what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and use her try to get the pressure off and a lot of times what's going to happen is the pressure is going to come a little bit better so let's go ahead and set this up a little bit quicker and that pressure is going to get in Baseline, spread, pinch, blitz all, crash up, and we're going to go ahead and put this guy in a mid read. We're just going to use her over this guard. We're going to go ahead and take away that fast read. So once again, what's going to happen is the pressure comes in. A lot of times, the running back route will not get this, so it's not going to work effectively. But uh, you're always going to get pressure coming in, and you just want to take away your opponent's first read. So I'm going to try to go into the middle of the field and try to take away those reads right there uh, with this. Now, what's cool about it is that you can use this with any other coverage. So now I've got a cover two shell that I'm using against my opponent. And I, now I've got, I can take away those sidelines. Now what's cool about this is you've also got a cover three shell. So if he's throwing over the middle, you're going to throw off his reads a little bit because that defensive back is going to come down into a hook zone. So 
once again, you can bait him based on this blitz. So you know this blitz is always going to come in. Um, he's going to have to block six, sometimes seven, to go and stop it. Uh, so uh, he's going to have a hard time with it. What I like about it, too, it's really stout against the run, but you can see you can bait someone. Say, for instance, he's trying to throw the seam. I'm going to go after this guy right here. He'll try to throw the seam on, on the other side, and this guy's going to come down to go and bait him. So that that's a good thing about it. If he starts hitting the outs, you just run into the cover two version of it. You can bait him in a cover two. Um, and then you obviously can do the man version of it, which is one of the more popular blitzes online. And you're going to get easy pressure with that, and you're going to mess up his reads a little bit. So what do you do with coverage? Well, once again, if you keep showing him the same look, uh, he's going to have a hard time. So if you keep seeing the same type of look, you can start throwing coverage in against him where he's going to mess up his reads a little bit because he's going to be used to trying to get rid of the ball hot. Now, um, one of the things I like to do is I like to go ahead and, and do an outside contain or slant outside with a cover four shell. Another thing you could do is you can you can do uh, basically you can do underneath coverage, and then you can go ahead and do sticks. And what's going to happen is these guys, because they're playing the sticks, are going to get to the outside quicker to try to take away those fast out routes. But uh, it's going to mess up his reads a little bit. So let's just go ahead and do that again. Red pinch. And now we've got ourselves coverage that we can throw against them. And this will catch him off guard. If he's used to pressure, he's not going to be used to seeing coverage. Now cover two, uh, basically I like to go ahead and sh show the same look with the pressure. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take uh, my one inside defender and actually put him, uh, my inside linebacker, I'm gonna put him in a deep blue and I'm just gonna go ahead and play underneath. And that will set him up for, um, you know, he's not gonna be used to seeing that either. Another thing I'll do too is I'll take my one guy and put him on a spy And this will throw him off a little bit too because now I've got a guy I can go ahead and send after him if he actually delays on his reads. So we're going to go ahead and take away some of his reads here. So that, that will throw off his reads too. The cross blitz. I'll go ahead and I've got basically these guys. I'll put them um, uh, in those hook zones right there. I've got a three, a three a hook that I can go 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 after him with it. And this will put a bunch of people right in the middle of the field. This is going to kind of mess up his reads too. And I've also got these guys playing the flats against him. So uh, this is going to be a defense that I'm going to be using online, guys. Uh, what, what's key about it, about it is that you've got the pressure that you can go ahead and use against him. And it's going to be very, very difficult for him to go ahead and, and compensate for that. But you have to mix it up. Uh, if you go and stay with the same blitz over and over again, uh, most people are going to have. Uh, most people are going to go ahead and start carving it apart, or they'll start max protecting. So if you go ahead and basically go ahead and, and do things such as uh, playing with the coverages where he thinks he thinks the blitz is coming, but now you actually go into like a cover two shell look. This is going to kind of mess him up and he's going to have to start making pretty good reads and progressions, and that's where things are going to get a little bit interesting for you. So uh, if you guys like these type of tips, make sure you smash the like button, and I'll be rolling out more offensive defensive tips to take your game to the next level. So once again, thank for your support, and until next time.